I know I was equally confused while editing this video. I was thinking to myself, is this Lagos or Kano? For real, I had the same expression while I was in Kano and it was a blissful experience. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel if you yet to like and share this video. Let's cue the intro. Hi all liars, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Pisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories from within the sessions I visit, inviting you to my world of travel and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africa can position itself to be number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. One thing I noticed upon getting to Kano is how peaceful and vibrant it felt. It felt so familiar. I felt like I was in Lagos again. It was peaceful and I was excited to experience the culture I had heard so much about. Yes, one thing I noticed also is that there are several religions being practiced here in Kano. There are Christians and there are Muslims, although there are more Muslims in Kano. The popular festival here in Kano is the Durban Festival, which is marked to celebrate the two Muslim festivals. Now, Kano is the second largest city in Nigeria with over 3.9 million people. Welcome to Kano, the center of commerce. What's up, beautiful people? Your girl is going to Kano today and I'm presently at the airport. It's a long queue, surprisingly, to Kano using the Asma Airlines. Talking of which, I'm going to be reviewing Asma Airlines services. So, that video should be a bit different video, so watch out for it. This is an emergency for the instructions of the crew. From Mars and Brain. My journey from Lagos to Kano was a 1 hour 30 minutes flight. Make sure you check out my previous videos to see more about the flights we used from Lagos to Kano. Well, I think the flight was alright. It was smooth, the was safe. As one I can recommend. What do you think? It was a uh, like, landing was safe. Uh, <laughs> He's always scared of landing there all the time. No, 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 no. no, no. It's not fear. <laughs> it's what? It's caution. <laughs> it was okay. In terms of timing, you already know what it is. Landed. We are here. <laughs> That's the right one over there. outskirts of town where actually while like Kano is ancient Kano okay. we have mostly Muslims so this has been given to those who are non-Muslims and non-houses so they decide so mostly the areas you see a lot of churches and stuff like that because it was designed just for people who are non-Muslims so that they will not be segregated and Kano will be like more lively to them as how they used to live in there okay. so it means new town. Oh, nice. Sabong Gari. Yes. Businesses all around in northern Nigeria. Nigeria. Start from Kano. Start from Kano. Okay. Okay, I wish we had time. There is a, a market. That is more than 100 years market. Even like religion Islam come through business trading to northern Nigeria. And that is a market that usually from that market in here in Kano, Kurmi markets to Sudan. Oh, you said apartment on hotel. It's guest house. It's a guest house. 
Let me show you if I, let me see if I can show you the name. Okay, no name I here. See I see you guest house in Kano. Guys, see the odd sun. Getting good shot of you. I'm only walking in front because she wants to make a video. <laughs> so, no, that room is named Kotunu. That room is named Yaoundé. Is that a country? Cameroon. Cameroon, capital. Capital. So here's what happened. I was not sure what they were celebrating, but I heard the sound of music and I said I must not miss out of the culture. So I came out to record. Good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> so I'm still live here in Kando. It's around 11 a.m. We're walking, taking a walk to a <laughs> what? What? Wish I was going to get breakfast. That's one of the major supermarkets around there. What's the name of the I just told you. Is that how can eat, guys? Wait, hey. what's the name of the, the, Grand, Square. the Grand Square? We're going to Grand Square now. We're going to enter the Kenya Pep. Just enter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you doing your vlog? <laughs> As if you don't know. Anyways, enjoy the vlog. I don't know if it's a day two or just a random kind of vlog. Just enjoy it. After that. <laughs> oh my god. After that, we're, we're, we're both going to be speaking at the panel, the, not the panel, shall individually eat. Um, no, actually, the creative, yeah, there's a lot of panels that guy, are holding. <laughs> my hand is hurting me. What? Is it not to make it interesting? <laughs> um, okay, we're going to speak. Yeah, soon. In a few minutes. Yeah. But we need to. And I'll be exploring a little bit of panel before we head back to the airport. It's not a lot, it's just the Emirates Palace. And if we go, and because we were supposed to go yesterday. I know, right? So in case you did not hear us clearly earlier, I came to Kano solely to speak at an event hosted by Basid Musa, whom I featured at the beginning of this vlog. And today was the day of the speaking engagement. Enjoy. Um, so speaking to focus now, it's now of us, it's now of you to make that career work. So for example, let me tell you my story. Many it is not as if they don't want us to do what we want to do. But we also have to understand where they are coming from. Content creation does not have to be oh, Right, I made use of my phone. The reason why I started at the beginning was because of two things. One, I realized that, as, as Michael earlier said, when international media operators talk about Nigeria and what they talk about is poverty, the negative narrative is created of us on the media. That, and I said, we have so many beautiful destinations. There are more stories to tell about Nigeria and other African countries. And that is one of the reasons why I started writing about destinations in Nigeria and Africa at large. The second reason is, we have so many destinations that even we Nigerians have not explored. In Nigeria, you know, we have over 50 waterfalls. And most of it are in the north. But people only visit every gesture, which is in the south, about people can post places in Calabar, people don't really know most of these places. And the reason why they don't know is because there is little or no information online. So that is the reason why I started. So I started making YouTube videos with my phone. Now I have a camera, right? But at the beginning, it wasn't so. When people see your passion, when people see that you're doing so much, sometimes they really want to support you. And this is how I got my first sponsor gig. It was through networking. Now we are here. I don't know how many of you of know each other, even everybody here, you are all close friends. But if you're not, this is a very good place to network. I go for networking events and I tell people to do the same because you don't know who you 
will be beaten. I recently just came back from Ghana so, some days ago, which was just yesterday, two days ago. And at that same event, I met the United Nations World Travel Organization's General Secretary. That's the event of ECOD. Oga I don't know if I say Oga yet, in my industry. And that was because I went there to network. And I paid for that particular work. But previous to that, I got uh, um, other sponsorship because I met other people in other events. And they said, you do a great job. Send me your proposal. We're going to sponsor you to this country. We're going to sponsor you to that country. And that is how, you know, I decided getting sponsored kids. But, you know, at the beginning, I had to invest in going on some of these trips myself. I also you I sponsored myself to Ghana, right? I know that from that Ghana trip, I'm going to get more sponsorship in the future. So I would advise people that if you want to build a career as a travel blogger, travel content creator, you would have to make some investment. At the beginning, I was only writing content on Lagos. You start small, you grow big. That is what I did. Even Basil himself, for me to be standing here, I met him at a social networking event, which was um, a YouTube event. You do not undermine the power of social media, do not undermine the power of networking. And comparing with how I started, I am much more better. Because at the beginning, I was very timid, I was so much of an extrovert. But what pushes me is my goal. I know that I want to achieve this. And nothing's going to happen unless you make it happen. You have to go and get it. So at the end of the day, my shyness, go away to one side. I'm going to go and get what I want. I want to meet you. Hi, I am Kisayo. This is what I do. I'm here today to tell you to come out of your shell. Whatever you want, you go for it. You don't wait to let it happen. You make things happen. I'm even happy to see this here today because in this industry that I'm in, over 54% of people in the industry are females. So there's a lot more market for the female in, in tourism globally. And that is not to say there's no market for the men. I said it's the 4%, so you can do the math, but 6% of people in the industry are men. Now, I'm only trying to show you that there are so many opportunities in the travel industry that you can harness. On how to start a blog, on how to monetize it, because I have a whole master class on it, we can see in person. And if you're a travel guide, I also partner with travel guides, meaning that whoever it is that wants to explore this in Kano, I refer people to you. So we'll see you after now. Thank you. So, guys, we just finished speaking. It was an awesome experience. I love the crowd, I love the audience. Know, see your uncle polite. feeling like <laughs> first man, I mean, Hello. First, I can't say first lady, president. Not first lady. So, thanks to Basit for bringing us to Kano. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you I enjoyed it. I liked the the vibe and the experience. So yeah, there far. was a lot of I want to know, I want to know. Yes, to know. yes. Well, yes. Well, you guys come to Kano. Kano is. It's, okay, maybe they say that this is the Jerry area, but this Jerry area is really nice. <laughs> and like I say, it reminds me of Lagos a bit. <laughs> like guys, this is Kano. I can't can be this. Yes, yeah, so this is really nice. So nice. Thank you so much for watching episode 2. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't go anywhere yet. This is what you'll be getting this week on the Nigerian series. So we're currently at where? We're at the zoo. What zoo? It has some... Something zoological. Kano State. <laughs> See you next week.